I only just started homeschooling this past year. I went to Pally High for probably about a week. It was honestly such a nightmare. I wanted to, you know, come home and cry every day. You're just so generalized and it's such a robotic system. I grew up traveling with my parents. We were in the hills in in Tibet when I was eight years old, looking at temples and whatnot, and the markets you walk through and people are yelling at you and screaming at you, trying to make you buy something. I was just attracted to this, and my mom wore it because I was too small. It's just a hand-me-down. I mean, I always get stopped in security when I wear this, and I have to wait an extra half an hour just because of the way I look. I kind of enjoy making people uncomfortable. My shoes um, were bought in London. They're Paul Harden. I love all of his clothing. I wear all of it and get questioned, but I love it. This little pin I bought at a bullfight in Spain, which I will never do again because it was traumatizing. This I found in the middle of the desert. We have a farm out in Joshua Tree, like a turkey barn. This I actually found at Coachella on the field. <laughs> this is from Kenya. I bought this in um, the Maasai village. I'm obsessed with this. It's, I just think it's so beautiful. It's heavy though. I, mean, I used to have two, but I don't know what the other one is. This has my initial just C on it. My uncle gave it to me like two months before he died. People have implanted this idea in the female mind that we live for men. Yeah, I went through anorexia and laxatives and it was really, really dark. You know, my uncle had just died tragically and my godfather died six months later so it was really a dark dark period inevitably during this stage you are always questioning yourself and your figure and, and just the influence from the media I mean we're human beings we're individual I don't think we're meant to be categorized and generalized we're all different I don't think defining one sexuality or not is really ever gonna be true to itself just because you haven't met everyone in the world you know you never know if you could fall in love with a female being a female or a man being a man it's not the gender that really defines who you love it's the individual